Hi everybody, welcome back to Taylor Toned and you have made it to your 30 minute follow along bar and Pilates inspired class. This one is completely on the mat so we won't be standing at all during this workout and you are going to also need a weight, a small weight. So I'm going to be using one kilogram weights today. If you've got tins available at home that would be amazing or water bottles as well. I would also advise that you do have a soft surface or a mat to do this class. If you've not hit subscribe, do that right now. Press the bell so you get notified every time I upload a brand new workout. I upload two new workouts on a Tuesday and a Thursday every single week. Also, check out my Instagram. Give me a little follow on there. I am at Taylor Toned. I post daily workout inspiration, things that you can add into your daily workouts at home and in the gym. I've also got a mailing list, last thing, on www.taylortone.com where I'm sending out weekly free workout plans. Okay, I'm ready. Let's get straight into this class. I want you to bring your fingertips on towards your shoulders. Now roll the shoulder blades backwards and down. You're gonna inhale the breath in, exhale, shoot the elbows round, draw me a big circle, and then again, inhale, exhale, roll the shoulders round, and then extend the arms. You're gonna reach the hands to the sky, bring them backwards, and then again, reach the hands to the sky, bring them backwards, drop your left hand to the floor, shoot the right arm over the top, take a slide lean, inhale, exhale. You're gonna bring now your right hand to the floor, you're gonna shoot your left arm over the top, Top. Nice deep inhale and exhale, bring it up. Hands come in front, interlace the fingertips, bring the chin to the chest, blow up a big balloon, drop the hands down, give yourself a little shoulder roll down. Now it gets tough. You're going to bring your hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath the hips. I want you to tuck the toes under and now lift the knees up. We're going to go for a tap, little lift. Go down, then lift. So we are hovering the knees one inch away from the floor. You are gluing your belly button up towards your spine. Your eye line is down in between your fingertips. This is all we're going to do for the next couple of seconds. So get your perfect, perfect form. Eye line down, crown of the head towards your coccyx, your sit bones is in a nice, gorgeous straight line. You've got a rule up the back of your t-shirt sports bra. You've got three, and lift, hold. Two, lift, hold. Last one, you're going to keep your knees off the floor. You're going to go ahead, tap your left knee, back through center, tap the right knee, and back through center. So you're just rocking your knees down to the floor. If you want the modified version of this, you can always find a rest in the middle where you drop the knees and lift them. If you're in the advanced room, do not let your knees touch the floor. If you can feel this on the lower spine, try tucking that tailbone under, drawing your pubic bone up towards your belly button. Center, we've got four, lift. We've got three, and lift. You've got two, and lift. Last one. You're gonna hold it through the center, and then step your left foot back, step your right foot back. You're gonna come straight in towards a plank. I want you to squeeze your inner thighs together. You're gonna inhale, and you're gonna exhale away. Hands under the shoulders. If you want the modified version of your plank, drop down to the knees, draw the toes in. If you're with me in the advancement, do not let your knees touch the floor. And make sure your eye line is just pitched in front of your fingertips. Now draw your left knee into the chest. You're gonna give me a circle round. Circle round. Woo, inhale, exhale. We draw the knee to the chest. And you're gonna try and create me a big circle with the knee as if you have got a crayon a pencil on the edge of your knee and you're drawing me a circle. I'm shaking already. Three of these, then we switch legs. Two more. You've got one more. You're gonna pop the foot down to the floor. If you need that modification, drop the knees, have a breather. If you're with me in the advancement, don't give in. Enjoy the burn. You are transforming your body now. Bring your right knee into the chest. You're gonna draw me a circle round. Circle round, inhale. Exhale, don't forget to breathe. If you hold the breath, you will starve your muscles of oxygen. So inhale in, exhale. Two more circles. Oh my gosh, this burns. One more. And you're gonna drop the foot down. Now lower to a forearm plank. Bring the forearms down. Treat yourself a number 11 with your forearms. Inhale, exhale. You're gonna give me a little rock forward, rock back. Two taps of the knees, tap. Lift, we go rock forward, rock back. Tap the knees, lift, tap the knees, lift. For the advancement here, do not let your knees touch the floor. Drop, lift, one more, rock forward, rock it back. Tap, lift, tap, lift. Now we hold 
four, eight, four, seven, four, six, child's pose in five. You've got to go four, push back in three, two, one. Toes together, open through the knees. You're going to press backwards, reach the hands forward, lengthen through the spine, inhale the breath in, and you're going to exhale the breath away, well done. I want you to roll up through the spine. At this point, you're going to grab a hold of your weights. So grab the weights. I'm going to turn this way right now. You're going to grab the weights and I want you to bring your feet hip distance apart. Popping the weights into both of your hands. You're going to roll down, find a C curl. Start with the hands under the thighs with your weights or your hands in your arms. Now pull the belly button down towards your mat. Tuck the tailbone under. It's like you are drawing your pubic bone into your belly button. You're inverting those hips under. Now you're going to go ahead, you're going to take the arms away. We go, lift the right leg, tap under, tap over, drop. Lift the left leg, tap under, tap over, then drop, other leg. So that's all you're doing. And I want you to imagine you are running your hands around the steering wheel. Drop, we go, lift, tap under, tap over, lower. Lift, tap under, tap over. Two more of these to go, tap under, tap over, drop, one more, lift. Tap under, tap over. I know it's intense with those legs. You're gonna press your lumbar spine a little bit down towards the floor. You're gonna turn your palms up towards the sky. Oh my golly gosh, this burns. Little bend through those elbows. Inhale, exhale. We go for a little lift, lift. If you're compensating and moving the lumbar spine, drop the weight and just lift those palms up. I want you to keep your abs, your core nice and secure and still, just push the weights up. You've just got seven and six and five. We're gonna lay onto your back in four. You've got it, three, two, one. Oh. Hello, abdominals. You're gonna lower yourself down. I want you to pop your weight or your hands into both of your arms. Plant your feet to the floor and then you're gonna bring the elbows to the sky. Inhale, exhale, drop the weights behind the head and then squeeze back up towards the sky. Inhale, exhale. Keep the elbows nice and tight together and then lengthen the weights up towards the sky. I want you to keep the lower body still. You are knitting your belly button, your navel towards your spine. You are still thinking about the rest of your body, what is it doing? Have you got good posture? You're not just slumped onto your mat. You are really thinking about engaging the abdominals and the waist. Shoot up. Now this is all about trimming down the back of your arms, tackling those bingo wings, lift up to the sky. Two more, drop the weights behind the head, lift all the way up. Now this last one, you're gonna drop the weights behind the head, squeeze the elbows together. The weights go, little lift, little lower, little up, little down, go lift, and drop. So it is a one inch tiny fraction of movement. You are hinging from the elbows here. So your elbows and your shoulders stay static in the air so they're not moving. You are just pulling the weights up to the sky on the beat and drop. We go a little lift, a little lower. Inhale, exhale. Now can you squeeze your elbows together any tighter? Four and lift. You've got three then back to full range. Go two and drop. Now last one, keep the elbows still. We hinge all the way up. We drop it all the way down. Now as you start to shake and burn, embrace that shake and burn. You are transforming your arms. Stick with me. You came for that burn. We go two more here. We drop it down to the floor. One more. We go up to the sky and then you're going to drop it down to the floor. I want you to squeeze your elbows together as tight as you can and get your weights hovering one millimeter away from the ground. Keep the elbows still and give me a little tiny pulse. Ooh, press and press and press. You're pulling your weight from the floor. Now imagine the floor is a magnet. It's drawing your weights closer and closer, but you're pulling them away. Little lift, little squeeze, little squeeze. Enjoy that burn because you only have seven seconds, six, five more counts, four. You're out in three, two, one. Well done. Drop the weights down to the floor, hug the knees and rock back, rocking forward. Pop the weights out the way for now. And then bring yourself into a kneeling position. You're gonna bring the hands behind the head at this point. Extend your left leg to the side. We're gonna dip the side body. We go down to the side, up again. We take it down to the side. I'm really hoping right now the top of my head's in the shot. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I'm not out of this at the top of my head. Inhale, 
Air down. Now dive the elbow to the floor. And I want you to really keep that chest square to me. Keep your hips square to me. This next section is mainly about your butt, but right now we should be feeling this in our side abdominals. They're called your obliques. It's like a corset that wraps around your waist. We're toning them up. We're thinking about developing that hourglass figure. Inhale, exhale, drop it down to the floor and lift it up to the sky. You've got three more here, down towards the side. And lift it up again, two more. Down to the side, lift it up again. Last one, you're gonna hold down there and you're just gonna find a static contraction. Use your abdominals, not your back. You've got five. You're gonna drop this right hand in four, in three, drop the hand to the floor in two, in one. Drop the hand down, and you're gonna keep your hand behind your head. You're gonna lengthen, lift the toe, and take it back down to the floor. Lengthen, lift. Now take your gaze, your eye line down towards your toe. Is it drawing in line with your hip? Is your knee nice and straight? And have you got a point through the foot? If you're not used to pointing the foot, you may get a little bit of cramp when you do some of these classes to start with, but you will get used to it, I promise, as your metatarsals build up strength. We are get used to pointing. We are lift up, lengthen. We take it down to the floor. Inhale, exhale. We go lift, lengthen, and take it back down. You've got two more, then we hold. Lift and lengthen. Get the leg as long as you possibly can. Last one, you're gonna lift and hold, point through the toe. This top elbow, advance the modification, stay here. Top elbow brings down towards the opposing hand and back up towards the sky. We go, inhale, for two, we take it. Exhale, lift it up. We go, inhale, wrap the elbow down. Exhale, the whole time that leg is in the air. You have not dropped that working leg. You are building that burn. Remember, this is all about the side of your foot, the side of your thigh. Working your abductor muscles. Go lift and press, opening that chest all the way up towards to me, building straight, stabilizing strength as well in your upper body, in your shoulders. You take this action. Two more. Drop. We go lift up, lift up. One more. Go drop and drop. Now lift and hold. Keep the elbow high. You're going to flex the foot and you're going to option, turn the toe down if you want to advance this. If you want to modify it, turn the toe back to me, drop the leg lower. I want the leg off the floor. Commit to your workout today. Commit to your burn. You're going to give me a little lift drop, little lift, little lower, go press and drop. So going into that bar principle, everything is tiny, everything is controlled, it's precise. Every single movement you make has intention. We go lift, little drop, connect your mind to body as it starts to get tough. This workout isn't long, it's only half an hour, so you can do it. You've got it, lift and drop. If I can, you definitely can. We go little lift because I'm burning like absolute mad right now. Even though I'm smiling, it burns. Little lift, little drop. You've got three, Woo! you've got two. Now last one, keep the heel high. You're gonna option, invert that toe down. How much do you wanna burn? How much change do you wanna make? You're gonna take a little tiny press up with that heel, lift. Heels in line with your butt and your hip. Go eight, go seven more presses, six and five. I'm shaking, four, three is over in two, one. Well done. You're going to lift it up and then we've got to fortunately take the other side. So send the right leg to the side. You're going to shoot the hands behind the head. Open the chest to me. Inhale. Exhale. We take it down to the side. We bring it back up again. We take it down and down. Elbow fires towards the floor. The chest is open. Be proud of your workout. Don't hold the breath. You need that oxygen to function. We go down to the side. We can take it up and up. Nice deep. Inhale and exhale. Drop, drop. We go press lift and lift. You've got three more of these to go. Up. You've got two more here. Lift. One more. Now you're going to drop to the side. Drop your left hand to the floor. Keep the hand behind the head on the other side. Your right leg, it goes up to the sky, down to the floor. Up to the sky. Now I've done quite a few classes in the last few days, so I am already shaking this side. My bow is on fire right now. That is the only way I can describe it. Well, that's a good thing, right? We go, inhale, exhale, lift the toe, lengthen through the knee. 
remember you don't want that toe too far forward towards me, you'll burn out the leg. That's even harder though, that way. And you don't want the leg past the hip joint because then you're gonna damage the lumbar spine. You're gonna get more in towards the back than you are in towards your gluteus medius, your, medius, your abductor muscles. So fire the toe in line with the hip and lengthen away from yourself. Two more, go lift and lift. We take it down and down. Now last one, lift and hold the leg. The higher you keep that leg, the more intense that burnout is gonna get, but the more results you're gonna get. Inhale, exhale, the elbow goes down to the floor. It fires up to the sky. Keep that leg nice and still. That leg's in a static contraction. Also, another thing we like to do in bar, we like to hold moves, because it burns. Drop and drop. Open through the elbow, nice deep inhale. Exhale, open. Breathe through the move. Really rotating through the waist. You're really getting yourself a little detox through the waistline by twisting it out. We go up and press. Two more of these. Up towards the sky with the elbow. One more. Now you're gonna lift and open the elbow. Give me a little flex to the foot. We go little lift, little lower. Little lift, little drop. I am burning right now. We go for an up and down we go. Inhale. Exhale. Can you get that heel one inch closer to the sky? Is it right that I want to cry right now on YouTube? <laughs> we go a little lift, little drop. You're going to turn it into a pulse up. We go up, drawing that heel to the sky, kicking that leg even higher. You've got seven and six. We hold in four, in three, in two, in one. Hold there. You're going to drop the foot down. You're going to twist, turn into a full arm plank. Hands come back underneath those shoulders. Now you're gonna step your feet in line with your hips right now. I want you to bring your shoulders above your wrists and straighten through those arms. So I know your wrists need a little breather. We are gonna take that any second now. If you wanna take the option of dropping towards your forearms, you can do right now, but I promise this is gonna be over super soon. We've got 30 seconds. Option stay here. Option if you want to work a little bit harder, bring the knee to the outside and push it back. Knee to the outside. Knee to the outside. But don't lose your form in the upper body. Your eye line is in between your fingertips. Your abs are pulled in. Your shoulders are above the wrists. We go 15 more seconds. Working through those obliques into the side of your waist as well as working into those top abs. We can do this. We're in it together. Five, four, three, Two, one, drop the knees to the floor. Inhale, Whew. exhale, you're gonna give yourself a little roll through the wrist. We're gonna take a real quick stretch. I want you to bring your left foot to the side, bring this foot in, shoot the hand over the top of the head and reach for your toes in a thigh stretch. I want you to then lift it all the way up. You're gonna bring your other foot forwards and you're gonna shoot the leg to the side. Reach the hand over, inhale, exhale. Lift it back up again. Okay, you're gonna locate yourself, your weight. So grab a hold of your weights right now. We're gonna go into some back work, back extension work, but a few requests for this. So we're going into some back work. I want you to lower your chest down towards the floor. I'm hoping my mic doesn't cut off during this. It sometimes does and it's very annoying. So I want you to grab a hold of your weight and you're gonna shoot your arms behind yourself. Now to start with, keep the head on the floor, Fire the arms above the hips and drop back down. Now fire the weight above the hips. So grabbing a hold of those cans of your one kilogram weight. You could probably even do this with 1.5. You would get a big burnout. Inhale, exhale, we go, lift up. Now lengthen through the elbows. The palms are firing up to the sky and then down again. So we're just taking a fluid movement, full range movement, weights above the hips. Drop back down. Two more of these and you're gonna hold it. We go lift up, lower down one more, and we lift and hold, weights to the sky. Give me a little tiny bend reach through the arms. You may start to shake. We go bend reach, bend reach, bend reach. Eight, seven, six, lower the weights back down. We're going full back extension with the legs as well in three, 
in two, in one. Drop the weights down, inhale, exhale. You're gonna fire the legs long, lift the back off the floor, eye line down, and lower to the floor. If you've got any back injuries, please be careful, be mindful. I want you to lengthen, then lift away from the floor. If you do have back injuries and this doesn't feel good for you, just skip the next couple of minutes and move straight in towards your abs section. Lift up, and that is if it just feels, doesn't re if it really doesn't feel good. Inhale, exhale, lift up. Low back down. So I want you to draw your fingertips towards your toes. You are lengthening the body like you've got a piece of string on your head and it's pulling away from your body and then you are lifting. That is how you're going to really strengthen up your spine and really work into the back. You've got two more. We go lift up and lower down. We have one more here. Inhale, exhale. We lift up and you're going to hold. So the tiny presses up with those palms. Up and up and up. Firing your palms up towards the sky we go little lift little lift little up little up you have just seven just six we lower to the floor you can do it in five in four roll the shoulders away from your ears three two one that's not it you're going to bring both your arms into a 90 degree angle and then i want you to inhale you're going to exhale just draw the back off the floor so just draw the back and then lower back down. Inhale, exhale, just draw the back, the chest off the floor, and lower back down. Okay, next option, you're gonna lift the weight, you're gonna draw the back off the floor, and then you're gonna lower back down again. So we go, lift the weight, draw the back, lower down to the floor. We go up, lift, lower down. Inhale, exhale, I want you to really make sure you have got your shoulders rolled away from your ears, your arms are in a cactus position, we call this in Pilates. Elbows in line with your shoulders, lift, lower back down. We've got two more, lift, up, drop back down. One more, lift, up, I'm turning. You're gonna go ahead. If you wanna take that advancement, try to reach over the head, try to pull down. You don't have to take this. Drop the weights if you want to. So if you're burning out your shoulders, you feel like you're gonna injure yourself, just drop the weights and bring the hands over the top of the head, bring it back down. Advancement, you've got those weights. Be really, really mindful here of shoulders. Squeeze the elbows back. You've got just one more. Bring the elbows back. You're gonna take little tiny presses up with those arms, lift. Oh my God, my gosh, bring the elbows, bring the shoulders away from your ears. You got seven, six, abs in five in four, abs in three, two, one. Oh, lift up, I want you to roll straight on towards your back. So I want you to roll all the way down on towards your back. You're gonna inflate your fingertips, you're gonna bring them behind the head here. Chest up towards the sky, inhale, exhale, we lift up and take a crunch, down towards the floor. So just see how that feels, inhale, exhale, chin to chest, lift up into a crunch, and roll back down towards the floor. So if you follow me on Instagram, if you don't, why not? <laughs> I'm just joking. Take a look at my profile, at Taylor Toned. I upload brand new workouts every single day, like short snippets that you can add into your gym routine. And I put this one on there the other day. Everybody absolutely loved it. So we're gonna do it in class today. This next one, you're gonna lift it and you're gonna hold it. Now bring your right knee to the chest, press away, in, lengthen, Heel goes down, replace and lower to the floor. We go, crunch, other knee in, press away, in with the knee, in with the knee, up with the heel, and press, then in, we take it down, and again, lift, knee in, toe away, knee in, to the sky, press the heel down, replace, and drop. We go, one more, in, push, in, point to the sky, flex, the heel goes down. Now bring the chin into the chest a little bit tighter. You're gonna lift a little bit higher. Now you're gonna bring your right knee in, left knee in, drop to the floor. We go right knee in, left knee in, and then replace those feet down. So you know what I'm doing now? I want you to keep your eye line forwards in front of yourself. Head, neck, shoulders are off the floor. If you can't feel this, you need to get higher in your crunch. We go lift, up, drop it to the floor. Lift, up, drop it to the floor. Two more, lift, up, drop it to the floor. One more, lift, up, drop it to the floor. Now you're gonna bring your right knee in, you're gonna squeeze left knee to left elbow. Who's ready for this change? We're gonna go for a switch and change, slow. Switch and change, 
to the opposing toe comes down to the floor, upper body twist. I know you can. I know you hate me. Hate me now. Love you later when you finish this session. Give me a massive thumbs up because you feel absolutely empowered when you just feel better about your body. You feel like you've really given me everything. Options, stay here for the modification, for the advancement, Here we go. Switch, switch, wow. That burns, switch, switch. Rotating, elbow to knee. Go switch and switch. Now get your head, neck, shoulders off the floor, working into your obliques and your top abs. You are out in eight, in seven, in six, in five. Last abs, in four, three, two, one. Oh. Okay, I'm just gonna shimmy up my mat so I've got enough room to drop my legs. We're gonna go into some leg lowers. If you need to, you're gonna take two C curves with your hands and you're gonna pop them underneath your coccyx, those two bony prominence in your back. If you wanna take it used to doing leg lowers, bring the hands around the side of your hips. Now you're gonna lift your legs into a tabletop and towards a full extension. Tight hamstrings, don't panic. Take a bend through the knees. I want you to lower the left leg to the floor. Bring it back up. We go right leg to the floor. Bring it back up. Option, you can make it balletic like me by taking a flex to the foot as you drop the heel towards the ground. Lift up. We go. Flex and push. As you drop the leg to the ground, I want you to make sure you are adding resistance. And if you have your lower spine off the floor, you are doing this wrong. Please imprint your lower spine in towards your mat for safety purposes. So I want no bridge impressions. I want that spine imprinted firmly. Pilates, it would be called an imprinted spine. We go press down, lift it back up. We've got a minute and a half left of abs. And then that's the end of your class. So give me all you've got. Try not to drop out, push yourself through it. But don't let your spine come off the floor if you really have no energy left. We go press down. We lift it up, two more. My legs are trembling right now, I don't know if you can see that. This is 4K, so you might be able to. Lift it back up. Advancement, either keep the legs here, or option, I keep it in that single press, or option, we're gonna go double leg lower. Inhale, exhale, don't let the back come off the floor. Drop to the floor, lift up press. Is this point when you may need your hands underneath that lower spine, lift up. Keep those abs doing the work. If you can feel it in your lower back, shake it off, restart. Think about your form as much as you can. Inhale, exhale, lift it back up. Inhale, exhale, drop down. Give me two more of these. If you're trembling like me, wow, how much does this burn? One more, drop down to the floor. We lift it up. Now flex the feet, release the hands. Chin to your chest, head, neck, shoulders. Come off the ground. We can do this. Give me a little tiny reach. 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 20 seconds. That's right, 20 seconds of pulsing. Modified version here. Hands come underneath your thighs. But still think about the abs doing the, uh, doing the work, not the arms. Little lift, little reach and reach. Can you get further away from the ground? You've got just. Let's do it. Four, three, two, one. Oh, well done. Draw the knees in towards the chest nice and tight. I want you to give yourself a hug, a rock and a roll side to side. Pop the feet down towards the ground. You're gonna send the soles of the feet together and let the knees open towards the side. And then send the palms up towards the sky. So you're getting a hip flexor stretch. Oh, I can really feel that in my hip flexors. And an inner thigh stretch. Inhale, exhale, be really mindful of those hip flexors. If this doesn't feel good for you, just turn the knees back up towards the sky, but gently let the outside of your thighs deepen down towards the floor. It should get easier as you hold this for longer and your muscles relax. Inhale, exhale, reach the hands over the top of the head, interlace the fingertips, flex your palms away from yourself. And as you do this, drive your toes away from your body and then lengthen yourself out as much as you possibly can. So visualize me pulling your toes away from you and pulling your hands above the head and inhale, exhale. Draw one knee into the chest, other knee into the chest and the hands on top of your shins. You're gonna rock yourself back and rock yourself up and forward. 
I want you to turn round towards me. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. So you're in an all fours four point position. Inhale the breath in, bring the eye line under towards your belly button. And then exhale, press the chest down. Back. Bring it back in towards that four point position. Extend your left leg to the side, turn your toes towards me, and then from here you're going to drop your hips backwards towards your heel and the leg comes to the side. You should feel this underneath the inner thigh. That's like fine, I'm going to do this. You should feel this in the inner thigh. Toes invert to me. Hold here. If you want a deeper stretch, inhale. As you exhale, let your belly button drive on towards your thighs. Let the crown of the head extend towards me. Bring the arms into a number 11. Inhale. Exhale. You can even drop the forehead down towards the ground if this is good for you. Carefully bring the weight on towards your hands now and you're going to scoot the leg round towards the back. Now extend your right foot out to the side. Turn your toes towards me. Lengthen that leg away. Drop the hips backwards. Feel that stretch into the inner thigh. And again, inhale, exhale, fold the chest down. And draw the crown of the head towards me. Nice deep inhale. And nice deep exhale. And then back through the center with the legs. Be really mindful how you're moving about. You're gonna lengthen your feet in front of yourself. Take a flex through the feet to intensify the stretch or relax the feet if you don't want it that intense. You're gonna reach your hands up to the sky. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Think about that mobility of the spine and length and health of the spine. Inhale, exhale, reaching your hands all the way down towards your toes. Trying to fold your nose in between your shins. And inhale, exhale. And then slowly rolling yourself all the way up through the spine. You're gonna turn round towards me. Find yourself a cross-legged position. I want you to take your thumb and your finger together, turn the palms up towards the ceiling, roll the shoulders away from yourself, draw the abdominals in. Maybe close the eyes for a second, appreciate your workout. Inhale the breath in. As you exhale, release any tension you have. And massive well done in your 30 minute exactly floor, bar and Pilates workout with me. I did 151 calories in that 30 minutes. If you have an Apple Watch and let me know down below how many calories you burned, if you turned it onto the bar setting, it has that now. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you in a couple of days for another brand new workout. I upload two new workouts every single week. Bye everyone.